So I'll tell you a little bit about what, what happened to me the past couple of weeks and then what happened to me this morning. So I flew from London back to Brisbane and which is about a 12 hour time difference. So obviously I was pretty wrecked. I was waking up and I had high resting heart rate, high resting HRV, blood pressure was elevated. I just pretty much felt like trash for about a week. So for the first about 10 days that I've been home, I've been focusing really hard on things that will raise my parasympathetic system, suppress my sympathetic system and get my autonomic nervous system in balance. So we utilized a lot of aerobic type Metcons, aerobic training. I did lift every day, but it was only a few sets to failure. Uh, basically doing a lot of deadlifting, bench pressing, and pull-ups. And so what I observed over that was a decrease in my blood pressure from around 135 over 95 to about 114 over 76, which for me is pretty much the gold standard. My resting heart rate dropped from in the 70s, it's now in the 50s, which is where I like to keep it as well, and then my HRV has gone all the way up into the 85s. So, Essentially, when we talk about least mode, that's what we're talking about. Looking at those biometrics and then utilizing certain training to cause adaptations, which allows you to move your physiology in a certain direction. So after about 10 days, everything's looking really well. So now I know it's time to go in and beast myself in the gym. Uh, and I probably took it a little too far. So I went directly into doing German body comp for athletes. I went into a lot of hard Metcons. Um, keeping my heart rate really high and after three days of that uh, everything's pretty much crashed. I woke up this morning I didn't feel right um, I, already, I knew what it was gonna say and my heart my HRV had crashed into the 50s so I went into the gym planning to do the usual GBC with some Metcon and I, I knew walking into the gym I wasn't really feeling it I didn't have a lot of motivation but what I typically will tell clients is if you're feeling unmotivated, go to the gym for you know five minutes. If you're training for five minutes and you still really don't feel it, then go home. But more often than not, people will go to the gym and they'll do five minutes of training and then realize, wow, I don't really feel that bad, I can continue. Well, I did my first set of deficit deadlifts, I did some kettlebell swings, I wasn't really feeling motivated, I wasn't really feeling it, I wasn't really enjoying the workout. And if I don't enjoy the workout, I'm not going to be motivated and I'm not going to do a very good job, so it's probably not a good idea to train. But I decided to spend my five minutes. So next set of deficit deadlifts, the first rep, I felt a tweak in my back. I felt that many times before and I really don't feel like having a, not being able to walk for the next two weeks. So I decided at that point, it's probably time to stop that workout and change my focus. So I knew that doing some aerobic training would be fine. I got on the rower, first minute, wasn't feeling it, decided to leave, okay? Now, I could have pushed myself through this workout and that would have been okay. The problem is it probably wouldn't have driven my physiology in the direction that I want it to go in. So, for me, it's time to just go ahead and have a day off, um, try it again tomorrow, see how I feel. And this is something I think is very important for people to understand. Just because you write something on your paper and just because it's deadlift day or, or bench press day or whatever, that doesn't mean you need to go in and do that training. Sometimes taking the day off, doing some active recovery, playing some basketball, going for a walk, doing some stretching, doing a yoga class, or just not doing anything at all is, is the right thing to do. If I continue to push my physiology in the wrong direction, I'm gonna maladapt and I'm not going to get the response that I want, which is to continue to grow and to continue to lose fat and continue to get stronger. Um, so tomorrow I'll wake up, I'll see how I feel, I'll measure my metrics, and then maybe I'll train hard, maybe I won't. So that will determine what I do tomorrow. So keep in mind that there's no points for people hurting themselves. There's no points for going to the gym and just doing work that isn't quality. It's okay to go home. You don't have to train every day if, you're, if your body doesn't feel like it. Hey guys, so today I want to talk about autoregulation in your training. Hi guys, so today I want to talk about auto... Mm.